Good morning. Today is October 31st, 2020, Saturday in the 30th week in Ordinary Time, a Saturday when we remember the Blessed Virgin Mary. On behalf of St. Juliana Falconeri Catholic Church in Fullerton, California, welcome to those gathered here today and welcome to those watching online. The Mass readings today can be found at the parish website, which is stjulianachurch.org. We invite you to visit the website frequently for updates and for faith formation resources. We also invite you to participate prayerfully this morning as Father Michael Pontarelli celebrates the Mass. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've gathered together to celebrate the mysteries of the Holy Mass and to remember the wisdom of the Blessed Virgin Mary who rejoiced in Christ, her Son, our Savior. May we rejoice in our Savior as well. For the times that we've accomplished that, we give thanks. For the times we've turned away from our salvation, we ask pardon and redirection. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. All Holy Father, eternal God, in your goodness, you prepared a royal throne for your wisdom in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Bathe your church in the radiance of your life-giving word and pressing forward on its pilgrim way in light of your truth, may we all come to the joy of perfect knowledge of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, as long as in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is being proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Indeed, I shall continue to rejoice, for I know that this will result in deliverance for me through your prayers and support from the Spirit of Jesus Christ. My eager expectation and hope is that I shall not be put to shame in any way, but that with all boldness, now as always, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose, I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. And this I know with confidence, that I shall remain and continue in the service of all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that your boasting in Christ Jesus may abound on account of me when I come to you again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
My soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. As a hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? My soul is thirsting for the living God. I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God, amid loud cries of joy and thanksgiving, with the multitude keeping festival. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him closely. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you were invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man, and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. I guess we have a lot to rejoice about in greater Los Angeles these days. A Lakers victory, the Dodgers victory, and a whole lot of other stuff as well. And let's not let those victories and the whole lot of other stuff as well overshadow the real rejoicing that we have as Catholic Christians or any Christians to rejoice that Jesus Christ is being proclaimed. That's what St. Paul is all happy and exalted and rejoicing about today in the letter to the Philippians, that Jesus Christ is proclaimed and I say rejoice. And I say rejoice because he's being proclaimed because I brought the good news to you. He's not exactly exalting himself, he's humbling himself to say that it's through me that you may boast. Let us all pause and remember that we rejoice that Jesus is Lord. Let us pause, rejoice, and remember who brought us the good news and who gave it life, who gave that life, that good news life in each one of us. Rejoicing that we've experienced the good news of Jesus. Let us go forth to live our faith. God bless. Confident of God's providence, let us bring our prayers to him. For all who lead Holy Church, may they be sanctified by the gifts of the Holy Spirit for the good of the world, we pray to the Lord. For government officials, may they be filled with God's wisdom as they respond to the needs of the poor in their countries and communities, we pray to the Lord. For all who feel despair, May God lift the cloud of darkness and fill them with hope, we pray to the Lord. For all members of this faith community at St. Julianne and all faith communities, may the Lord increase our charity and commitment to the Holy Gospel, we pray to the Lord. 
for scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who serve the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding. We pray to the Lord. For John Mulherin and all who have died, that the Lord may shine his face upon them for eternity. For all who are ill, especially with life-threatening illnesses such as cancer, that through the intercession of St. Peregrine, they may be cured and kept from, safe from all harm. For everyone for whom we've promised to pray, we pray to the Lord. For all of those who will be out this evening, that whatever they do is kept um, safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Ever-loving and gracious Father, we humbly pray that you hear and answer all of our prayers that we place before you today and always through your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you, fruits of the vines and works of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Our altar table is ready now. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. Lord, sanctify these gifts we offer to you, and through the intercession of the Virgin Mary in her glory, prepare in our hearts a worthy dwelling for your wisdom. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in your infinite goodness, when the fullness of time had come, you accomplished through the Blessed Virgin Mary the mystery of our reconciliation planned before all ages. Wisdom built himself a house in the chaste womb of the Virgin Mary. The creator of time came to be born in this world of time, so that, as the new Adam, he might undo the ancient inheritance of sin and renew us in his own resplendent image. And so, with the angels and saints, we praise you forever as we proclaim Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plene Sucele et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venet in nomine Domini, Hosanna, in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with saints Juliana and Peregrine and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Agnus Dei, cui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, cui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Cui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. And for those who are unable to be with us this morning to receive the Holy Eucharist, as a community we offer this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A prayer to Christ crucified in time of pestilence and contagion. Dear Lord Jesus, Savior of the world, our secure and unfailing hope, have mercy on us and deliver us from every evil. We beg you to overcome the scourge of this fearful virus, which is spreading from place to place. We beg you to heal the sick, to protect the healthy, and to support those who work for the health care of all. Show us your face of mercy, O Lord, and save us in your great love. With the intercession of Holy Mary, your mother and ours, ever close to us in our needs, we ask you this, Lord Jesus, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Reminder first that the clocks get set back tonight and that Mass times tomorrow and the Sundays following will be at 7.30, 9, and 11 o'clock outside under the lunch shelter at St. Juliana School. Sunday Mass at 7.30, 9, and 11 outside, weather always permitting, the lunch area of St. Juliana School at the far north end of our parking lot. And tomorrow is the Feast of All Saints. Let us pray. Lord our God, through this holy sacrifice, pour into our hearts the light of wisdom which so wonderfully filled the heart of the Virgin Mother so that we may know you in truth and love you with fidelity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. As is our custom at St. Juliana on Saturdays to honor the memory and the inheritance of St. Peregrine. Through the intercession of St. Peregrine, may you be kept safe from the suffering of cancer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go and glorify the Lord by the way we live our lives. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Et spes nostra salve, a te clamamus, exulis fili eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrima rum vale, ea ergo, advocata nostra, Ilos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et ye Jesu, benedictum frontum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O claimants, O pia, o, 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 o dulcis Virgo Maria. 
温度。